She walked in the room, devoid of light. Her roommates had gone out for the night. She was going to go out as well, but the day had left her an empty shell. At least alone, no one could bother her. She finally had some time to decompress. Hidden from the RAs, she pulled out a bottle and took a drink to relieve some stress. The week had been long. Two tests, a quiz, and a presentation due Monday. What a nightmare this is. Like a seasick sailor's stomach, her mind swirled around. Until she remembered the children at the public playground. One reminded her of Connor, her elementary school friend. They'd play on the swing set till sunset, then inside till the day's end. She took such joy in simple things, like challenging friends to a run, sledding down the hill after school, or jumping in a pool for fun. Now, these activities were no longer interesting, and she could not understand why. Is it something to do with growing up? She said out loud, with a sigh. Her mind drifted to friends newly distant, the one thing she missed the most. She used to see them every day, but now many were no longer close. Kate kept contact through college so far, though she saw her only seldom. They'd only met four times this year, more time with her would be welcome. Kate had always been drowning in stress, fighting through school every day. She never worried about school like Kate, till college came her way. She took another sip from her bottle, cheap vodka burning her tongue. When laughter crawled in the room like a spider as it came out of a stranger's lungs. Partygoers on the street below, heading out into the dark, reminded her of her new friends, Stacy, Samantha, and Mark. Those three were friends before college, and they all seemed tight as a knot. They'd picked her up by the wayside, but she sometimes felt like an afterthought. It mirrored memories of middle school when her former friends would forget her existence so very easily, or acted like she was in their debt. She took another shot or two, and her vision started to blur. A warm feeling took over her body, and she spoke with a slight slur. This is no different than the party I would have gone to anyway, and just be alone in a crowded room. It's better to stay in today. Recollecting the last few times she went to parties for fun, she sought to socialize with strangers, but was shunned by everyone. Rather than feel so awkward, she chose to self-medicate by smoking a whole pack of cigarettes or drinking till she could not walk straight. She wondered if there were consequences to a daily chemical smile, other than a few extra pounds and the occasional trash can of bile. One last silver thought invaded her increasingly clouded mind. This past month felt painfully similar to when her boyfriend left her behind. It was the first time that she felt love, but he did not feel the same. She did not blame him for leaving, but her heart had still writhed in pain. Recently, old habits resurrected from those days she wished to forget, such as overeating, undersleeping, and an alcohol-cannabis duet. With a final sip, she succeeded in turning off her brain. The ethanol muzzle muffled the memories driving her insane. She stood and stumbled across the room to her roommate's beanbag chair, fell down on it, closed her eyes, and took a breath of air. I just want to go back home, she mumbled to the walls. And as she fell asleep alone, she missed when she was small, when she could wake up smiling, excited for the new day, instead of with a migraine, wishing it all would just go away.